So we're looking at integer multiplication. And so this is chapter 6.3 in the Nelson textbook. Integer, oops. Now, integer multiplication just works like regular multiplication. There's just a couple of rules when it comes to positives and negatives. An example of this might be uh, the temperature goes up by three degrees each day. Uh, what would be the temperature change after five days? Um, so that's an example of a potential integer question. So we'll be looking at some of the potential questions you can see um, with the positives and negatives and with the signs that you can see there. So the first one is a very simple um, one example where both the first and the second signs are positive. So if we have here positive 5 times positive 3, an example of this question might be uh, we earn $5 a day. How much would our total be after three days or in three days how much would be the change in money? Um, so if we start our number line at zero and then just like repeated addition, um, if you add five dollars every day for three days, then we notice what we uh, just look at the pattern plus five plus ten plus fifteen after three days. We are facing in the positive direction, uh, so our resulting sign is positive. It's a fairly easy question. It's just like regular multiplication. It starts to get a little bit complicated when you start to include negatives in there. Uh, so in the second example, I have a positive number and then a negative number is the second one. Now, an example of this one might be I make five dollars a day, but how much have I made in the past? Past three days um, or what would be my change from three days ago or three days ago what would be the difference between today so if today I'm at zero uh, and I'm facing the positive direction and normally I would be making five dollars each day it's asking three days ago what was my total change in money well five day sorry one day ago I was five dollars less and then another day ago, I was another $5 less, and then another $5 less than that the third day ago. So in this case, it's like I'm facing $5, I'm making $5 each day, but in if I work backwards three days, I've actually um, would have had $15 less than what I have today. So that's why our my resulting sign is negative. My answer is negative 15 in that case because a positive times a negative means I'm working backwards. Now, the same thing could apply if I started with a negative, but I'm moving forwards. So this is the same thing as if now I'm facing in a backwards direction and now I'm losing money. So I'm losing money every day. How much would I lose after three days? Well, after one day, I've lost $5. After two days, I've lost $10. And after three days, I've lost $15. So it really has the same result as the other example where a positive times a negative is a negative. In this case, a negative times a positive is also a negative. So now let's look at it a slightly different is what if they're both negative? So this example would be something like I'm losing $5 a day. So normally I'd be losing $5 a day. How much would I have had three days ago? How much more money would I have had three days ago? So three days ago would have meant that I would have been working backwards again. So yesterday I had five more dollars than I do today. Two days ago I had 10 more dollars than I do today. And three days ago I had $15 more than I have today. So which means if I'm facing backwards, I'm losing money, but I'm going back in time, I really had more money then. So in this case, again, it's a little bit backwards, but a negative times a negative makes a positive. So in this case, negative five times negative three is positive 15. If I look at some other examples where there are um, multiple numbers together, I just solve them one at a time. So in this case, I have negative 5 times positive 4 times negative 2. Well, I work from left to right according to bed mass. So I start with negative 5 times positive 4 times negative 2. The first two po negative times positive makes negative 20 times negative 2. Negative times negative is positive, and 20 times 2 is 40. So I just work it at one at a time to solve the answer. Hope you understand.